Hey there guys and gals, James Tracy, Master Club Fitter, Second Swing. Um, here talking today with my good friend Thomas Campbell, who's not only a colleague and another fitter, but also uh, a great player in his own right. And we're here to talk to you guys a little bit about two big categories when it comes to club fitting, and that's club heads and shafts. As fitters, we run into customers all the time that have questions on those two, sometimes misconceptions about the importance of one versus the other. And, you know, our fitting process that we've developed, really the goal with that fitting process is to try to nail those two aspects of the club down as best as we can. And we try to break it into two pieces. So, you know, I thought that it'd be just kind of fun to talk a little bit about some of the observations that we get and, you know, how over time, you know, over the last 10 years, how fitting the head has become such an important step because of how many different models they offer and all the new technology involved uh, with heads and, and the shaft too. Yep, yeah, I would agree. I think we do spend a decent amount of time in fittings discussing the heads as opposed to focusing, just diving down, just trying shaft. One, all the shafts are trying to fit in one specific head. There is so much technology these days in the heads um, that, you know, that could be straight flight, could be kind of low spin, um, but we spend a lot of time for focusing on the head before we dive into the shaft option to kind of complement um, the, the head testing piece. Yeah, well, I think you bring up a good point is that, you know, because there's so much specialization in the heads, you know, when we're interviewing that customer, you know, really our goal is to figure out based on how they play golf and maybe how they wish they played golf, what types of heads are gonna allow them to get to that performance characteristic that they want. You know, a player that really knows they hit it too high, let's say with the driver, um, and struggles with spin, well, yeah, there are some shafts that can help us um, kind of limit the amount of spin that that player has, but really the fastest way to improve a high spin player is to pair them with a lower spinning head. So re being able to bucketize that player really quickly um, and doing that with the head primarily is a, is a huge way uh, for a fitter to see those instant gains right away. Yep, no, completely agree. Yeah, the shafts de definitely matter, but I think what it comes down to is the head is a little bit more, more important when, when the testing piece. Well, when you're interviewing player, Thomas, you know, when that player, let's say, comes in for a driver set fitting and has got specific questions on, you know, I uh, really struggle with a miss to the left and they start blaming the shaft or, uh, or the weight of their shaft for their particular miss. How do you talk to that player um, about not disregarding the shaft necessarily, but maybe getting them to think about the club head itself and the shaft as kind of a team in creating that ultimate performance that they're looking for? Yeah, so first thing we do is we check out the specs on their driver. So we you know, double check that what setting they may have the driver set up, um, also talk about to what shot what shot flight they're actually trying to achieve here. Yeah, too. sometimes a guy who misses to the left and hits too many draws doesn't even realize that their driver is in the draw setting. Uh, and sometimes it's just a quick screw the wrench and a couple clicks and that ball flight can change right away. So yep. I think it's definitely important to know how they actually have their driver set. Yep, not exactly. And then, you know, for us, it comes to terms of spin, when it comes to terms of creating that particular shape right to left, left to right. Um, we actually just created a video on some of the newer Titleist drivers and you know, what we were seeing in that video is just making a subtle change to the weight or lie angle really pre and predictably can influence that golf ball right or left or higher or lower depending on what we end up doing with the loft. So you know, I think that when you're looking at a golf club and you have specific ideas about the window, whether that's the height that you want or the right and left uh, creativity that you want, you know, finding a way to get the head model not only to fit the look and aesthetic appeal that you want, but really making sure you're buying and going with a head that matches that performance trend that you're looking for is going to get you into that box or into that window really quickly. Yep. And then where the shaft comes into play, uh, which is certainly important, is trying to make sure that over the course of five, six swings, good hits, bad hits, that that shaft allows you and that head to stay in that window, to stay in that lane. And so when we're testing shafts, you know, with all the track band data, we're looking also at the consistency of the no those numbers too, right? Yep. Raj, we're thinking right about consistency as you were talking there. Consistency is very, very important. So shafts, you may not see a huge difference in launch angle or spin or anything like that. Every shaft, yeah, there's a high launch, low launch shaft, but it's more the head that matters. 
However, with the shaft, we really do want to focus on that consistency piece. Some people feel like a heavier shaft may feel like they give them a little bit better control. Some people may feel like you know, heavier shaft, they may be able to turn it over a little easier or not, but really the company comes down, you know, the head matters, the shaft complements with the consistency piece. Definitely, and I think that sometimes a player um, can react to shafts a little bit different. You know, they might be looking for a heavier shaft because they like the control, but are worried about that shaft maybe going too low. You know, generally heavier shafts go lower. Sometimes a player reacts different to a club and they might hit a shaft that on a catalog says it's low launching, they might actually launch it a little higher than other shafts. So sometimes when you are dealing with a player who's reacting to a particular shaft that doesn't really fit the cookie cutter explanation on the catalog piece, um, testing shafts can start to kind of muddy the waters a little bit. But it's very rare to have someone who's hitting a 10 and a half degree driver really high, for example. Yep. If you lower the loft to nine and a half, it's very rare that that ball flight goes higher. It's pretty predictable that you're gonna be able to lower that spin by just changing the loft. Or a player who's looking at irons and really struggles to get the ball flight in the air. Well, no matter what you do with the shaft on a muscle back iron, you know, you might be able to influence the launch and spin a little bit here or there, but giving them a lower center of gravity head that's designed to really get the ball up in the air, that's going to have a much more dramatic impact and a more predictable uh, change in the numbers sometimes than trying shafts at the complete end of the spectrum. I think where shafts really have come into play in my fittings a lot is creating, like you said, the consistency, but it's also the feel and the confidence that that player has too, especially with better players. You know, you can have a head dialed into the nines, but if the shaft doesn't quite feel like it's the right weight or it feels too stiff, that player is very quickly going to start to lose favor with that particular shaft, even if the numbers are suggesting that it's pretty good. So like as a better player, Thomas, when you are testing shafts, whether it's a driver or an irons, what types of things are you looking for as the golfer when you're trying to figure out how you would choose a particular shaft in a testing environment? Yeah, I'd say uh, the feel is a, is a big piece. Um, feel, I like to, whether it gives a certain kick at a certain point in my swing, it feels boardier. Those two factors really, they, I think about that quite a bit in my golf swing. Sometimes I feel like I've got better, better control of something, maybe a little bit stiffer. Um, but how also, you know, on top of the feel, it's the weight. So the weight of the shaft can, can, be, can be quite considerably different. So, I mean, driver shafts, they range from about 50, 45 to 80 grams in weight. That's quite a big difference. So, I mean, typically the heavier, yeah, you're right. Typically heavier may launch a little bit lower, but we don't see that with everyone. Everyone is a different golf, golf swing, so everyone is really, really different. There's a lot of players that, you know, prefer to go with a driver that's simplistic and then spend time fitting the shaft to that simple head versus taking advantage of, let's say, a driver that has a lot of adjustability that allows them to kind of fine tune their ball flight. What, what have you found not only as a fitter, but as a golfer in general, how do you feel about all the adjustments that the drivers offer nowadays? So I love all the adjustments with, with, with the head piece, um, especially, you know, center of gravity, um, putting it lower and further all the way back is going to help typically help launch the ball a little bit higher. For your lower spinning heads, we move that center of gravity a little bit further forward in the head, um, not quite as far back and as deep. So that definitely helps. I would say when it comes down to shafts, however, the only thing I notice is torque. So I do notice it's typically if I have a higher torque shaft, for me personally, I find it, find it harder for me to turn it over. Lower torque, I feel like I've got to control it's a little bit easier. But and that's, that's, that, that, that statement right there, I, I would say that it goes against some conventional it wisdom. It does, yep. Some players would say just the opposite. You know, they feel like as boardy, as stiff as you make the shaft, the harder it is for that player to turn it over. Maybe they have the confidence that a really stiff shaft won't go left. Yep. And so that's why it's important when you're thinking about shafts to realize that everybody is going to react to shafts a little bit different. Yep. Every company designs shafts a little bit different. A 60S in one brand is not the same as a 60S in the other. And that's why we carry so many options in our tour vans is because we want the ability for players to try different options on shafts. But what is more law is, you know, you take a driver like the Rogue Sub-Zero and comparing that to, let's say, the Ping SF Tech, right? You're gonna have a head model that's almost always gonna test very low on the spin in the Rogue Sub-Zero. Yep. That typically for most players is a little harder to turn over. Whereas the Ping SF Tech model, 
pretty easy to turn over, obviously more weight in the, in the heel, yep. and tends to spin a little bit more across the board for most players. And so regardless of what shafts you put in there, those heads are gonna very dominantly provide a player that particular tendency. So if you can pair that player with a head model that matches the ball flight characteristics that they want or need to hit the ball further or straighter, and then uh, complement that with a shaft that matches the feel, the look, the um, performance characteristics, and like you said, in the numbers, creates the consistency that you shoot for as a fitter. And that's really the best way to go, uh, to go into a club fitting or go into a, a club purchase is trying to find that winning combination of head and shaft. Exactly, yep. Get the head figured out, and then from there, have the shaft essentially complement. May help the player, may not, but everyone, everyone reacts differently to the, to the shaft. Great. So, you know, our fitting process here at Second Swing, we always start with the head. We get that player into a, the bucket that they're looking for and really trying to fine tune uh, what head model, whether it's new or used, it's going to fit that player's characteristics and tendencies the best and then complement that winning head with the best shaft. And I would encourage all of those online who are coming in for a fitting or looking at buying a club through SecondSwing.com to really think about those two things in unison and to remember that the head and the shaft have equal importance and can really be the difference in creating lower scores for your game. Thanks for watching, you guys have a great rest of the day.